Wharton girls dropped a non-league contest to Riverview on the hardwood last night. Reporter Sean Wells has a story. The Lady Cougars took on Riverview in a non-conference game. The Panthers got off to a hot start, jumping out to a 14-0 first quarter lead. Warden fought hard in the second quarter, cutting the score to 18-8. The Cougars cut the lead to six in the second half, but Riverview held on to knock off Warden 36-28. Washington. Shania Kistler and Alicia Gonzalez had eight points each for Warden. Brianna Munson led all scorers for Riverview with 16 points, hitting four three-pointers. The Panthers out-rebounded Warden 34-30. The Cougars must win three of their last five conference games to make the district playoffs. Got Fiber One News, Sean Wells. Three players scored in double figures, and the Cougar boys got past the Panthers 47-40. Warden was led by Caleb Hardman's 13 points. Pedro Gonzalez had 11, and Jesus Iberia finished with 10. Warden moves at three and two in, not in league play, that is, with the win and nine and five overall. Moses Lake Christian Academy boys dropped a 60-27 game to Riverside Christian. Joy Canton drained 17 points, and Micah Tranch pulled down a game-high 10 rebounds in the lopsided win. The game was never in doubt. The Crusaders jumped out to a 24-7 lead and were up 36-17 at the break. Riverside Christian owned second half of play as well, outscoring the Lions 24-10 to win in a cakewalk. Alec Nakarada led the academy with nine points. Noah Roberts finished with eight. Riverside Christian moves to five and one in Central Washington 1B conference play with the win. The Lions fall to two and five. Top Nish wrestlers got past Quincy 39-26. It was the first CWAC dual meet loss of the season for the Jacks, who fall to 5-1 in league competition. Quincy led 9-0 early. A string of four straight put the Wildcats out front. Topnish went on to take seven of eight bouts between 126 and 182 pounds to complete the come-from-behind win. Moses Lake bowling rolled over West Valley 4-0 in Big Nine action in Yakima. The Chiefs dominated the Rams in the final regular season match, winning by a 397 pin count. Coral Brownlee was the high roller for Moses Lake with a 380 series. The victory improves the Chiefs to 9-3 and, and nails down the number three seed to the district tournament to be held at Eastmont Lanes in Wenatchee Tuesday. Moses Lake will face off against Eastmont, Wenatchee, and Eisenhower. The top two will move on to state. Moses Lake Swim and Dive crushed Eastmont 117-69 to remain undefeated on the season. The Chiefs are 5-0 in Big 9 competition and 9-0 overall. Moses Lake is back in the pool Friday for an 11 dive meet in Wenatchee. We'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> 